Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we are going to speak about the superstition of Muhammad, the prophet of the Abduls, which means the prophet of the Islam, and the prophet of Draco Allah, the God of Islam. Uh, in this video, there is someone supposedly trying to refute, uh, many of you know uh, David Wood, and supposedly he have a video uh, about licking fingers. Now, those hadith we mention many times, and they are funny and stupid. However, the Muslims, because they are super intelligent, the same as their prophet, they have an answer. And that answer is an amazing answer. I mean, who can refute this? I mean, think about it. Uh, uh, this uh, video uh, posted in a page is called Idawa. All right just to give him the credit <laughs> of the intelligence uh, but look how he explained why if somebody ate he should lick his fingers after he eat or ask somebody to lick his, fing lick his fingers not only he you know should lick his fingers he should ask or he have one of two choices either he lick the, fin the finger his fingers or he asked somebody to lick his fingers. So let us see what the Abdul answer is, which I found it a very astonishing answer. And this is a video just made two days ago. I mean, actually just yesterday, December 25th. So let us see what the answer of the Abdul regarding this issue. And I want you to take notes. It's unbelievable. So here we have uh, some commentary on this hadith, and in fact, the hadith is there. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has stated that in your food there is a blessing. So, in absence of knowing exactly what part of food the blessing lies, then you eat all of it as not, as not to lose the blessing that's offered in that food. But what's more important in the hadith, one about looking at fingers as well as this hadith, is that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is instilling in the followers, those who believe, the idea of not to be wasteful. It's not about licking the fingers per se. Rather, it's about understanding that we should not waste anything. People would die and fight you for the meal that you just enjoyed. All right. You know, so the prophet is trying to tell you not to waste food. And this is very nice of him, actually. But the fact is something in your finger, my, you, you, Mr. Smart Muslim. How much food you have in your fingers? I mean, what do you expect to have your fingers exactly? Do you have a fingers of an elephant? Like, is your fingers 20 meters tall or long? So you expect to have like two, gram, two kilograms of food left there? Or five pounds of food? It's a fingers. How much food is left there? I mean, what happened to your fingers? Why a lot of food will be there? So obviously, this is about something else. Now regarding the blessing, Muhammad, or obviously, he is making a fictional story that there is some blessing in the food somewhere. It's not really in the food, all of it. It is in some of the food. And you don't want to lose that because maybe it is there. So all the dish you ate already, it's not enough. Because maybe the blessing in the food, which is was at the dish, and it might be in the, your fingers. <laughs> and this is very stupid. I mean, what a blessing is that, you know? You're blessed because you have the food anyway, you know? It's a gift of God, eat it, enjoy it. That is the blessing of God. But to say there's a blessing in some part of the food, that is a superstition, stupidity, and fiction. So there is no way that this is because he is teaching me not to waste my food, asking me to lick my fingers. This is a stupid teaching, and actually there's a lot more behind this. So let us expose Muhammad. You know, uh, you know David Wood, he mentioned this hadith, but the fact there is many things behind this. It's not really about that exactly. This is about Muhammad teaching Muslims about the devil. Let us see what a Muslim should do when he eat. Additional to what we see in front of us. Muhammad, he said, that the shaitan, I heard the uh, Allah Apostle saying, <clears throat> the Satan present with any of you 
in in everything he does and he present even if he when he eat food so if any of you drops mouthful he should remove any thing filthy on it and then eat it and not to leave it for the devil yes my friends Muhammad is teaching the Muslims that the devil eat your food which some of it have a blessing so there's a competition over the blessing who want to take the, the blessing the devil or the Abdul who eat it so if you leave imagine let us say you are walking you are holding a sandwich and you are going to the bathroom as many students they do in the school like they are rushed they want to go do many things they buy a sandwich they want to go back to the class they go to the bathroom and you have a sandwich in his hand and then you drop something of your sandwich in the floor the prophet said clearly just clean whatever like the dirt in there and eat it but according to science this is a very 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 stupid behavior actually it's very dangerous because the second your food touch the floor millions of germs attach immediately and there is no way you can just remove it by wiping your finger off that is absolutely no 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 and you can go right now and make your own search and find out and you can ask the doctor too so the shaitan the satan he will eat your food which has a blessing if you leave it in the floor and then he says continue and then when he finish the food he should lick his fingers for he does not know in which portion of his food the blessing lies so Muhammad claimed there's a blessing somewhere in the food but it might be in this one a drop in the floor not in the whole dish you ate in the in the dish and that's alone showing you how stupid this idea is so if you eat 10 kilograms of food you might get not the blessing yet it might be in your finger the middle finger as an example the blessing is there that is very stupid teaching obviously Muhammad is making making up stories and so, so, you know and what blessing we are talking about I mean seriously what is a blessing in the food the blessing in the food I, I understand that that God he gave me the food that's it otherwise I'm not going to be blessed as a blessing really it's the benefit from my body however the food all of it it's a gift from God and as long God he provide me I, I say you know I th thank you for this piece of a bread you gave me Lord so there is nothing is called that there's a part of the food have a blessing in it and there's a part of the food does not have a blessing same time which one is better for you to leave what you drop in the floor huh it's a drops of a mouthful something fail from your food whatever it is which one is safer for you to waste that part which can come to you with a big problem and big disease or to eat it just because not as he said you don't want to want to waste the food this is a lie it's about the blessing in the food you see Muhammad he says why you should take it and why you should lick your fingers because you don't know where is the blessing of the food is it might be in that piece which should drop or even in your fingers which you have to lick so it's not about waste of food and this is not a big waste of food it's nothing actually you know this is come on this is chip it what waste of food so you risk your life to get sick and make others sick and same time when you say to me as individual says that you're asking somebody else to lick your fingers don't you think that will, this is will be spread disease because obviously this guy he is eating with his fingers and putting it in his mouth so now what we are doing we are taking our fingers which we ate with which we lick obviously before and now we are putting it in the mouth of somebody and asking him to lick our fingers for us and that's absolutely not only not 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 healthy this is dangerous imagine if you are sitting in the table and we have 30 of us and I give you my fingers and you give your fingers to the one next to you and he give it to the one next to him and the one is next to him and uh, you know and we start licking the fingers of each other 
It's not only a stupid behavior, it is not healthy and present stupidity and fictions of superstitions. But the story is not over yet. There's more hadith. Muhammad, he is you know, forbidding the, the, the Muslims from leaving any drop of, uh, 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 of food uh, because always shaitan, he is waiting for it. As you see here. So, yes, there's a blessing there, but the problem is shaitan is waiting for the opportunity. Shaitan always eat with Muslims. And he is waiting for the Muslims to make such a mistake. Which is the mistake? To not to lick their fingers or to leave something fail in the floor because shaitan he will eat it and he will get the blessing and he will say to you, ah, 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 I got it. <laughs> this is stupid. Obviously, Muhammad is making fun of the little brain of those little abdus. And whatever he say, the prophet say, Allahu Akbar, it must be true, right? come on the prophet says that do you know more the prophet if the prophet said that it's mean must be true it's this is a pure science my friend if you don't believe me you can ask Borat then in different hadith the prophet he forbid the Muslims from eating with their left hand hold on why a Muslim he cannot eat with the left hand I mean what the problem huh what is exactly the problem? The problem is very simple. The messenger said, remember who? The messenger, not me. Okay, don't go after me. I have no idea. I'm just reading for you. None of you should eat with his left hand and drink with that, which means left hand. For Satan eats with left hands and drink with left hand oh boy okay hold on if satan he he drink with the left hand that means satan he he use a cup like us i'm assuming i mean how you drink with the left hand anyway and that means satan he have left hand like us mm -hmm. and let us assume that satan satan he drink and eat and do everything with the left hand what this have to do with me? I mean, what the problem? Why we should not eat with the left hand? What Muhammad is saying to us here, when you eat with the left hand, shaitan, he will share with you. He will eat your food. He will eat with you. So, uh, uh, when shaitan, when shaitan he eat, if we search for more hadith actually, there is tons of hadith about this stupidity. I heard the message of Allah saying, don't eat with your left because shaitan he eat and drink with his left. The purpose of this saying, that when, sh when you eat with your left hand, shaitan is going to eat with you. Not only, like otherwise, so what? If shaitan eat with his left hand and I eat with my left hand, what the problem? No. He will use your left hand to eat with it. All right? And uh, uh, when you do, when you do eat with the left hand, as you see all those hadith, look how many. You know, look. All those. So shaitan he eat with you when you eat with the left hand. All of this. And actually there's a hadith that says it clearly that uh, you know when you eat with your left hand shaitan he eat with you. Uh, so shaitan when you eat with the left hand, he is going to eat with you and he is going to share the blessing and he is going to enjoy the blessing and he is going to enjoy your food. 
And obviously, this is a stupid statement and doesn't make sense. Muhammad continued saying, Remember that shaitan, he do everything with the left hand. He eat with the left hand. He wash with the left hand. He, he do everything. With, he take, he give in the left hand. He take and he give with the left hand. All right. So if you go back, if you remember, shaitan, he do. Look, don't take up anything with your with the left hand and don't give anything with the left hand. So a Muslim, he is not allowed to take or to give with the left hand. Why? When he, he uses the left hand, Satan is using his left hand to give and take with him. He is, Satan is going to use his hand to use it. Question to the Muslim. So Allah, if he is God, why he created my left hand then? As long, as long when I, I use the left hand, the shaitan he will use my hand and as long the left hand is a bad hand why Allah he gave me the left hand the Muslims have an answer actually Muhammad have an answer as an example Muhammad he he told the Muslims to wash their vagina and their private part by their left hand Alright, let me show you the hadith. Look at this one first before we go to that one. Muhammad he saw a man, he is eating with his left hand. Muhammad he ordered him, he says, Eat with your right hand, you idiot. The guy he said, I cannot. Muhammad he said, He is arrogance. That's why he don't want to eat with the right hand, which means he's shaitan. Shaitan is the arrogance. That's what the Quran says. So he's accusing the man to be a bad person just because he ate with his left hand. And this is very, very naive. The same hadith here. Like, what is forbidden this man from eating with the left hand, with the right hand? Because he is arrogance. He is a bad person. And then the Prophet, he cursed him. He cursed him just for eating with the left hand. As you see the hate in front of you. The man, he said, I cannot do that. Thereupon the Prophet said, May you are not be able to do that. He is asking Allah to curse him so he cannot use his hand no more. For sure, nothing happened to the man. Don't worry. <laughs> Muhammad, he can curse as much as he want. So, when you use your left hand, you are using the hand of the devil. But then you will find Muhammad using his left hand. Uh, like this hadith here is very funny, actually. This one here, the Muhammad, he forbid any man to eat with the left hand. At the same time, you can, you can you cannot walk wearing one pair of shoes, one, <laughs> which is funny. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what's your business? What if a guy, he have one shoe? <laughs> if he cannot walk with one shoe and he have only one shoe, that's mean he have to, to wear with bare feet. So Muhammad, he forbid them from, from walking. Poor people, you know, maybe he, he found a shoe somewhere, one, one only, one, one side of the shoe. He don't have two. So Muhammad, he forbid them at all from doing that, which means walking with, the, with no shoes at all is better than walking with one shoe in one side of your feet this is another superstition of Muhammad uh, and then you will find Muhammad washing himself <coughs> here we go you will see Muhammad actually this hadith we mentioned not long time ago all right you will see Muhammad he put his hand on the dish and then he is washing his private part or Muhammad vagina because some they say Muhammad was not a man that's why he pissed like a woman uh, he used his left hand to wash his private part all right look then it says then he put his right hand on the vessel and he poured the water of his private part all right then he washed 
wash it in with his left hand as long shaitan when you use your left hand he is going to touch you with it and he is going to eat with you with it so how Muhammad is using the hand the left hand for washing his private part and how he allowed you Muslims to do that that's mean each time you touch your private part shaitan is touching you And that obviously is something stupid. In different hadith, you will see Allah Himself, He used the left hand too. As long as Muslims, they should not give or take with the left hand because this is the hand of the devil. Why Allah in the judgment day? He will give and he will take, he will fold, look it says, he will fold the earth on his left hand. Is your God Allah the Satan? One more hadith ago, and this is, I found this very funny and very stupid. A Muslim guy who was sitting next to the Prophet, peace upon him, no, actually it doesn't say in English by the way peace upon him it says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which means Allah pray on him and salute him because Allah he worked as a surgeon or a specialist in the army for Muhammad Muhammad is the God so Allah and the angels they pray on Muhammad so the story here is about a guy he start eating 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 you know I is enjoying his food but when he started eating he did not say bismillah all right a Muslim before he eat he should say Bismillah in the name of Allah in the name of Draco Allah so he did not say that by not saying that shaitan start eating with him read with me messenger of Allah was waiting a, a while a man was eating food that man did not mention the name of Allah before start eating till only uh, a more, uh, uh, some of the food was left when he raised raised it uh, to his mouth he said at the end which means he almost finished done you know like the last uh, bite he is done then at that moment he said bismillah awwala huwa akhiruhu which means from the beginning to the end so from the beginning of the food he ate to the end of the food he ate and look what happened in the beginning at the end the messenger of Allah smiled at his and, uh, and at, uh, uh, at, at this and he said Satan had been eating with him but when he mentioned the name of Allah Satan vomited all <laughs> I mean who is this stupid here so Satan he eat with you this is the whole purpose of this is licking and whatever and blessing shaitan is a competition with you and your food even Muhammad he says if you don't say if you don't say the name of Allah before you have intercourse with your wife shaitan will route himself around the penis your penis and he will be the one doing your wife and your wife she will have a son he is a son of the devil in this case here this Abdul this Muslim is very smart very smart he look like Zach and Naik so he ate Look, he is making fun of the shaitan, my friend. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So he is making fun of the shaitan, and he did not say Bismillah, which is the password to stop shaitan from doing, sharing anything with you. You have to say it. Shaitan cannot eat with you. What Muhammad is teaching the Muslims here, showing how stupid Islam is and how false this man is. What do you mean, shaitan, he ate with me? What do you mean exactly? Muslims, do you have a brain? Do you really believe that shaitan, he eat with you? Based on this, anything you do without saying the word Bismillah, shaitan, he share it with you. And this is what we mention about having sex. So you will find that uh, it's if we search uh, Salatu ma qabla jima'ah. 
Uh, let's see. Before you have sex with your wife, you have to make a certain prayer to Allah. لو أراد أحدهم إذا أراد أن يأتي أهله قال بسم الله اللهم جنبنا الشيطان وجنب الشيطان ما رزق ما رزقنا. Let us see if we can find this in Sahih al-Bukhari in English. So we can laugh together. And that will make the idea more clear for you. Here we go. The Prophet said, If anyone intended to have sexual intercourse, the Prophet of Allah is a professional consultant for sexual, sexual intercourse, my friend. With his wife, he should say Bismillah. Why? Why? Muslims, anyone can tell me why? Look how many hadith. Those all the hadith. Alright? Let us see why. If any of you, when he have in sexual relation with his wife, he should say, In the name of Allah, O Allah, protect us from the shaitan and prevent the shaitan from approaching our offspring. You are going to give us. And then if he begets a child, as a result of that relationship, shaitan will not harm it. I mean, come on. So what, what? What Muhammad saying to you is not only shaitan, he share your food. If you don't say in, in, in the name of Allah. Not only shaitan, he eat with you. If you use your left hand, shaitan have sex with your wife. If you don't say Bismillah, Allahumma protect us from the devil before we have indoors. Why? Because Shaitan, the second you say that, he will not be able to be doing your wife. Otherwise, uh, listen to this. How Shaitan is going to harm? Why Shaitan he can harm the child? What is the reason? Because you don't say, Oh Allah, protect us before the intercourse. Oh Allah, protect us from Shaitan. Before what? Before the intercourse. Which means the protection here happened during the intercourse. So shaitan simply, when you don't say in the name of Allah protect us, Allah from shaitan, when we have intercourse, shaitan he will be the one doing your wife, having sex with her, even though like it looked like it's appear it's you, the same as in the food. Like, you know, when you eat with your left hand, yes, you are eating with the left hand, but the fact shaitan eating with you. Huh? If you don't lick your finger, shaitan, he might, uh, you know, he might do, do it. Uh, if you leave it the food in the floor, shaitan, he will eat it. So shaitan always around you, trying to harm you. And even when you have sex, shaitan is going to do that to your wife. So how we can stop that is by using the kingdom of Allah. And what is the kingdom of Allah? You say, oh Allah protect us from shaitan. So if you are a person who uh, worry about having a sexual uh, transmitted disease, you can say, oh Allah protect us. And then nothing will happen to you. No sexual disease will come to you, my friend. And that's all is proven by science. So shaitan can harm your son, not really as it might look like. The shaitan, he will be the father of your son. Because Satan was able to get it through in the relationship, in the intercourse. Actually, I remember a Muslim, he used to come to our chat room, the one in Arabic, and then he come and he take the mic and he always says to us Christians, all of you are son of devil. The Christians ask him why. And then he recite this hadith as usual. You know, each time he come and then one day, the admin, he said, I, I'm, I'm just a guest there, you know. Uh, they told me, can you please, ref you know, can you get him busted? I, 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 he told me, like the admin in the, in the private chat, he said, I know you can say something. Can you say something to this guy? He is very annoying. Each time he come, he say the same. So I took the mic and I asked him, Abdul, why we are the children of shaitan? He said, because you don't say, Bismillah, O Allah, protect us from shaitan before when your father have sex with your mother. 
I said, are you sure that this is a correct hadith? He said, yeah, this is a very sahih hadith, correct hadith, strong hadith. I asked him again, listen, are you sure? He said, absolutely. Are you sure? Absolutely. Three times. Because Muslims, they love to repeat three times. Trinity is, is the huge part of a practice of Islam. And after he said that three times, com convincing us supposedly or confirming that this is a strong hadith, I said, listen, based on this, your prophet himself is the son of shaitan because the father of Muhammad was not a believer in Islam or in Allah. This is why Muhammad, he said his father will go to hell fire. Therefore, obviously, he did not say that, oh, Allah protect us from shaitan. So Muhammad was the child which was harmed by the shaitan. With this, I say thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and share my videos. And thank you for support and help. And Merry Christmas again and Happy New Year. With Jesus, we prevail. With Muhammad, you live with false fictions, story, and stupidity. And you stay in the cave time fiction. God bless everyone.